So you're probably watching this video because either you have had or you just got an Oculus Quest 2, and you're like, dang, this thing is not the most comfortable thing I've ever had in my head. So you're looking for a way to increase the comfort, the weight distribution, and hey, why not extend the playtime with a built-in battery bank? Well, hopefully you came to the right place. If not, full refund on this free video. All jokes aside, the Quest 2 does so many things well, but out of the box comfort, it leaves a little bit to be desired. This is where a good head strap is gonna come in crucial, and luckily for you, there are a lot of options nowadays. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Abaca Elite Battery Strap, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, it's kind of a weird word, but that's what we're gonna roll with. Or as they like to call it, the Excellence Strap? I don't know, a little weird, but in all reality, this is a lot like the Oculus Official Elite Battery Strap, but they've actually improved it in many ways. First off, this head strap should not crack or break as easily as the Oculus official Elite battery strap, but this is still somewhat to be determined since this has not been on the market as long. Granted, this head strap seems extremely durable. It is very flexible. I have bent it all over the place, twist it and everything else. There's no cracks, no signs of stress or anything like that on the headset. It's holding up well so far. This head strap is gonna come with a 5,000 milliamp battery bank on the rear, which also includes a nice push button battery indicator. So you can push the button and there's four LEDs that will quickly show the battery life of the head strap, which is a nice feature. Also gonna allow pass through charging. And what that means is that you can plug this battery bank into the headset and then you can plug the charging cable directly into the rear port on the battery bank. And this is going to charge the rear battery bank as well as the battery that's in your Quest 2. It's gonna charge all of these at the same time so you don't have to charge them separately. You're in VR view. So when you look at your battery indicator inside the headset, it is not gonna show the headset battery and the head strap battery separate. It's not going to show you how much charge each one of those has. It's just going to show you that the internal battery is charging when this is plugged in. That's pretty standard on all of the battery banks and stuff that I've tried other than the official Elite Strap. That's the only one I know of that'll actually show you individual battery levels. Also, just to note here, you cannot use wired link to play PC VR while plugged into the battery bank. What you're gonna have to do is unplug the battery bank and plug your wired link cable directly into the headset. This is the case though with all battery straps or extended battery banks, this is how they all work. That is the way you're gonna have to do it. But honestly, it doesn't really matter that much because if you're using wired link and you're plugged directly into your PC, then depending on the USB port that your PC offers, you should be able to keep your headset charged while you play PC VR. So you shouldn't have to worry about a rear battery bank for that. You can, however, utilize the battery bank while playing with AirLink or wirelessly streaming through virtual desktop. Comfort wise, this is a great option. And to me wearing it, I really can't tell the difference between this and the official Oculus Elite battery strap. The built-in battery of this head strap is gonna give you slightly better counterbalance, less movement and slippage compared to the soft strap and helps take a lot of that front pressure off of your face. I have to say my current favorite head strap is still the Bobo VR M2 Pro, but that halo design isn't for everyone. Some people actually prefer this more traditional kind of ski mask style setup for their VR headset. VR cover actually makes rear padding for the official Elite battery strap that makes that's made from Oculus, and this actually fits the head strap no problem. It gives you a bunch of extra padding on the rear, which is really nice, a nice feature. I really enjoy this, so I do recommend picking that up, and it fits this head strap just like it would the official Elite strap. This will also fit into any case that will fit an Elite style strap, as well as the engineered AF clip-on headphones. The, those fit this thing just like the original Oculus Elite strap. So my one complaint about this headset is that the head strap actually goes past the front of the headset, so it doesn't go flush with the arms. It actually has a piece that sticks past, which if you plug this in, the first time I tried it, I plugged it in this direction, because that's how I usually use my Oculus official Elite strap. And when I was trying to loosen it, the cord actually got caught up in front of this like that and I couldn't get it all the way loose. I was like, what the heck is going on? So what I quickly realized is that you just can't plug it in that way and you have to plug it in like this essentially, which gives you a little bit more extra cord, but by the time you loosen it up, uh, it all works out. They make two versions of this, a regular one and the one like you see here with the 5,000 milliamp battery, which gets you roughly five hours of extra play time. Also includes smart charging and different safety features to help you from overcharging your battery or your headset. Prices for this are currently $59 for the battery version and $29 for the regular version. Links are in the description below. This thing is very easy to snap on and off and overall seems to be quality built. Let me know your thoughts on this head strap, which style of head straps you like best and what product you would like to see featured on the channel. 
If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Thanks a lot, and we will catch you on the next one. Later.